What up, Ty Nation, and welcome back to my channel. And today is a day I did not think would ever happen. There were times I doubted that this day could come, and I really truly wondered what was going to happen with this young, talented artist, who, in my opinion, got screwed so badly. One of the most one of the most screwed idols in all of K-pop in the history, for that matter, K-pop. And of course, I'm referring to Sujin. Yes, guys, Sujin finally gets to debut with her solo. Um, I, I mean, honestly, I have no idea what to expect from this. Um, I just remember, like, when she launched her own Instagram account, I had a feeling something was going to come. I had a feeling that we were going to finally get our girl back, and I'm so excited to see what she has in store for us. Do I still hope one day that she might be able to join back up with G-Idol? Of course I do, but for right now, the fact that I'm so happy she gets to be able to do a proper debut as a soloist makes me so happy because I remember hearing how like there were stories of her saying, in interviews and stuff that she just knew she wanted to be an idol and she remember I remember hearing something about like her family really supported it too because she was like born to do this and I truly think that she really was I mean honestly she has the visuals she has the vocals and um, I I'm just really really happy for her to be able to finally come out with something that's gonna be truly her own and um, Hopefully on a label that will treat her better than Cube ever could have. So yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um, this, well, actually this title track is in Korean. So I don't know what it actually says here. I mean, I've been learning Korean, so I should be able to say it. But um, alright, well, I don't know what this is called. Um, let's see how good my Korean still is. Um, it would be what? Aga... She, Agashi, maybe Agashi. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. My Korean is really bad. I'm still learning in very, very slow rate too. <laughs> but um, that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, you guys can correct me in the comments, as I'm sure you will. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, I need to stop talking because I'm super duper excited to dive into this. So let's do this thing. Here we go. <laughs> Sujin, show us what you got. Oh boy. <laughs> so much. This like choreography is so elegant. Totally matches her. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry, I gotta pause for a minute. I mean, I just, I have to, just, gosh, I, I'm, it's like she never left. It's like she is back and better than ever before. The choreography, the vocals, the outfits, the visuals. I mean, even this music video is so beautiful and well put together. I mean, it's like, it's like, I mean, she was just so born to do this it's crazy i've never seen somebody so well fit for this industry i mean she just she ha she's the whole package and more she really is 
I mean, I just, I'm, I, I almost feel like this is a dream to see this happening because after all that bull crap that she went through to be able to see this actually truly happening, to see her being able to show off what she has for us and to be able to be on a label that will actually respect her and treat her right and give her the opportunity she deserved. I, I'm just so happy. I, I, I was so worried we were never going to see her be able to do anything again because of what Stupid Cube did to her. And I'm just so happy that she got through all that and was able to prove herself as not guilty of that bull crap because I knew she wasn't guilty from the very start. And to be able to have somebody give her a second chance. And I, I'm just, I'm, I really, I really hope also that the Giotto girls support her in this comeback too. Because this is still, this should still, I mean, they should still all be good friends. Even though that, you know, she did like separate herself from them to protect them. Which I think is the, the truest form of friendship is to like basically not harm that G Idol image. Like, I mean, wow. Like what an amazing person she is, honestly. I'm sorry, I've, I've talked so much, but I'm just, I'm just so happy for her. I, I can't, I can't be happier. I really can't. This is just making my day. <laughs> Oh, okay, let's keep going. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I kind of paused in the middle of her doing her thing. So let me go back a little bit now. Yes, girl, you sing it. Let's go. Extraordinary. Oh my gosh, vocals. What? She's like glowing. What? Love this. Wow. I love her logo already too. That's a sick logo for her. I mean, are you kidding me? That could not have been any more perfect, honestly. What is this video? Is this another one, or is this a teaser? No, it's a highlight melody, okay. I just want to make sure there's nothing else of hers that I need to see. What's this? Oh, that's right. This is, like, I think her dance to a song called Black Forest. I remember seeing that come out. I just haven't watched it yet. Um, oh, my gosh, guys. I, I truly... Okay, wow. Let's take the video away for one thing. Let's talk to you guys about this. Oh my gosh. I, I, like I said, I cannot be any more happier for her right now. She really, truly deserves this. I mean, she has really just come out shining more than ever with one of just, this is probably one of the best solos to come out this year, in all honesty, because she truly deserves this more than anybody right now. I mean, yeah, there's been a lot of idols that I think like have been screwed over from Cube, um, even like um, Huna and uh, Don, but like, I don't think anybody's gotten more screwed over than Sujin did. And for her to be forced, and I, I don't know, I still don't know how it really went down, and I don't wanna get too much into it. I know that there was some people saying she was forced to move, and then she left to protect the G Idol members, so I don't know. Um, but regardless, I really am thrilled to see her doing solo stuff. And I really hope then that when they're, I should say they're as in, um, G Idols come, um, sorry, I can't get my words together. G Idols contract is over with Q. I hope they'll leave 
and hope we find a way to bring Sujin back. And they can just, I don't even care if they rebrand and change their name or whatnot. I don't care. Do whatever you do. Um, it's a lot of hopeful thinking, of course, too. But I just think that, you know, it'd be really cool to see them be able to find a way to come back together and whatnot. So, I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, I mean, the biggest thing, though, is this song was phenomenal. Production was on point. The video was beautiful. I love the choreography and how elegant it is. It matches her style so well. And, um... I, I mean, I, I can't praise this whole entire solo um, debut enough, honestly. So yeah, welcome back, Sujin. I'm super duper excited to see you back, girl. And I will fully support you and your solo journey. You have my promise. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that is all for me today. So thank you all for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and make sure you click on that bell notification to be alerted whenever I start a group artist or new band on my channel. Besides that, you guys are awesome. I love you guys. And as always... Bye. The life of another. <laughs>